Lever. The reliable cowboy down back just saves the day again. Takes the mark and then just moves the ball onto that Shane Warne wing side towards Gaunt. It was obviously really important for Jake to step up without Maisie down there, losing a, a quality player. Uh, Jake's had a, a real good run at it this pre-season, so last year was a little bit injury interrupted, whereas this year he's had a bit better run. He's been able to get some real good training block in the last probably six to eight weeks, and he's been playing some really good footy and, and training at a really high standard. So it was great to see his strengths back on show, um, intercept in the air, uh, when it wasn't his turn to mark, clearing spoils. And, and that's what we see when Jake's playing at his best, and it was great to see him play really well the other night. Meanwhile, receives from Trelaw and works it towards Norton. Terrific stuff from Lever, yeah. who floats in from the side. I think when you, you're that intercept type play, you can sort of force yourself to try and chase the game a little bit and try and mark everything. But I thought Jake did a really good job of having a real good balance in his game. He, his ability to read, yep, yeah, this is my moment to go for the mark or to actually clear the ball and just take the ball out of bounds. I think that his decisions the other night were really, really good. And when you had Tomo and Pets around him holding their man down, allowing Jake to be able to do that, that's why Jake played extremely well. But as I said, he can't play at that level with, without that support around him. So it's a credit to the other two boys as well. Um, it's going to make it interesting with Maisie coming back. Um, so those guys should be really proud of their performance the other night. Kicks to half forward, Norton back with a flight, Kenny did brilliantly, gave to Lieber. All three of those guys, as I said, they had some pretty, pretty tall timber down there and uh, obviously um, Pets had a really good battle with Norton and then Jake and Tom Over were able to curb the influence of Eugle Hagen, Lobb and, and Darcy. And it was a bit of a worry going in, into the game, I won't lie, that, that height down there and um, to, the, to the credit of those guys, though, they did a fantastic job down there and, and brought the ball to ground where the likes of Bowser, Riv, Judd McVie and Gus could go and do their thing as well. So as a collective group, uh, they played a really great game for us the other night and we're looking forward to another challenge this week as well.